All right, guys, we're back with the Art of Training Bulldogs, and it, there is. And that video I posted the other day, How Not to Train a Bulldog, once you've got one fighting you, you, you need to understand they're going to be good at that. They've, that's what they're built to do. They're, they're, you know. So if you want to fight them, especially play tug-of-war and stuff, they'll, they'll really figure out you're weak. You know, I don't know why. I mean, honestly, the, yeah. all these people think they're going to convince me playing to Okay. Yeah, well, I've had this business for 26 years, but I listen to a bunch of novices. Got it. And he said, what are you basing this tug thing on? It is, and you should do a forensic analysis. You should do a forensic analysis of any person that inquires to you about a dog. You don't sit there and say, tell, let them say, tell us about your training. No, tell me about your dog, you know. And you've got to ask them loaded questions. Uh, because that's the only way you're going to get the truth. So... You know, not, they're going to call, and, and the worse the dog is, I'm going to tell you, it's going to start. It's the sweetest dog. It's the sweetest dog. This will go on, and then pretty soon you'll be forced to say, what the, why are you calling? What is the problem? Why would the sweetest dog need to be, you know, yay. Why would the world's sweetest dog's owner need to be calling a serious professional trainer? You know, why would they be inquiring about costly professional training if this dog's so sweet? So that's kind of where you're at. But this is all the default in this dog. He's really got two modes, sound asleep and yay. He said, how small does the yay have to be? Pretty small. You make it smaller, watch. He's absolutely precious. Ah, right, so you said get him on his side. Oh, they're rough and tumble for sure. They're rough and tumble, but look at the ears. He's a very sensitive soul. If you said what would physical touching do right now, I'd convolute everything. I want them watching my hands very specifically. If you said a part of American Sign Language is to con continually keep reaching out. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Your job is to... <laughs> if you can't smile and make that dog wag its tail, you may not be as well connected as you think you are. Uh, he's probably going to put his chin down. No, here, maybe if I go like this. Yeah, no, if I go like this. Oh my God, I don't know if you're there, Mike, but he did exactly what I did. He put his chin on his hand. I am sure you remember the dog Barkley and that thing, boy, he taught me a lot. He was here for nine months. Um, but those collies watch every detail. I could go like this and he'd bend both legs up. I'll go find the video. I couldn't, he couldn't do it fast enough. So I think you've got to approach it as they're modeling my behavior. And if you said you're giving him too many commands, giving him too many commands, yay. There's that one thing. I didn't tell him to get up there. I didn't tell him to stay there. I didn't tell him to do anything. The only thing I've ever really verbally told him to do was come to me. And it was a lot of please don't film me now sort of tone and driving the dog in my direction. And if you said why, because it had too much momentum going that way and that really is what it's all about, you guys. How much of this dog's momentum, you know, it's like having firemen and how much are these guys with this we're 100% we're going to go in there and fight that fire 110%. If these dogs are not saying to you, I'm, I'm with you 110%. He's, he's just a lazy dog that lays there. He's not just a lazy dog that lays there. All right, hang on. I do want him looking at my eyes. 
and he's looking at my hands, but I want to, he said, how do you get a look at your eyes? He said he wasn't really looking at your eyes. He will be after a few times of doing that. So if you said, what's that micro cue? You've got to go to a micro level. If you said, what, because that's what's going to result in the default. And <laughs> because he does think it's his idea. So I can move him around a little bit. And I'm just going to tell I had to put a leash on him. Hi, Holly. Hi, let's just not panic yet about the hurricane. I know they want you to just chronically panic, but after like seven or eight of these, how much can we keep panicking? You know, it's ridiculous. It, it does show you these people on Facebook. I've never seen people so... It, to me, is a bad example for children when you've got these adults hysterically panicking. It's ridiculous. Uh, after last year, my, my pant, those, I'll tell you, if you, what's my main memory of that hurricane from last year? Those panicky weathermen saying, I've never seen grown men act so hysterical. Grown, full grown men, hysterical. <laughs> That's what I remember about it. Luckily, I come from a long line of people that don't panic. I understand that now. I don't like your puppy. I don't like your... He's trying to come up with something. He's trying to figure out what does she like. All right, I can get him to the other platform. And I can get him to like This is what I'm kind of starting to do. Mike's like, uh-oh. Well, uh, you know, if you're just doing inside training and stuff, you're, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait to ha have to have a way to differentiate. Hi, Lee. Oh, I'm not gonna use any words at all. I'm gonna use the language. We need to come up with a name for this language. I'm not telling him to do that though. That's the crazy part. He's now got two modes: stop and go. And if he's laid there too long, he said, "Well, what if he got on the phone and started talking?" Well, he'd be asleep. He'd probably start snoring. He could be. <laughs> alert one minute I swear to God and then I turn around and then two seconds later I had this snoring and I'm like he fell asleep that fast apparently I'm gonna let him know so if I want him instead of sending ahead to stay with me I'm just doing my hand like this so the hand is here not there it's a big difference so I'm just gonna bend them. Let me see if I can do it with the treat in my hand, okay. Bend, bend, standalone task. He said, well, you hook two of them together. Yeah, I hook two of them together. So I got the turn towards from that footstool. So if I want to go to the platform, my precursor is looking. I wasn't confused at all about what I was going to do. And if you said, what would be the difference if you wanted to heal? You, you would be looking at the dog. Hi, Lucy. Lucy, I just, you give me hope, girl. I get so discouraged. This guy that I, you know, a complete stranger, I reached out to help. Now this guy's posting all these rants saying, oh, I might want to uh, check my ego uh, because I didn't want to be friends with you because I said it was hopeless after I tried and tried to help you. Okay, let me get my ego in check here. Okay. Uh, and now has exposed my lack of commitment to this craft. Yeah, yeah, well, you got me. So I'm really not as committed as this guy. <laughs> he lives in a condo. <laughs> You know, I, I don't even freaking, do you think I get on here every day and say, this is, this is a pro bono. This is a pro bono. Who do you think is supporting these dogs? <laughs> I don't know if you know what pro bono means, JC, but that means gratis. And I don't know if you know what gratis means, but that means you're bearing the financial burden. <laughs> Oh, but he's worth every 
pet him. Oh, he's the million dollar dancing dog. So I pulled him back with my pager. I do think you need the little stop right there. He backs up a little bit too. Oh, but he's just like, he fishtails. If he said his back, he's fishtailing on the backing up. Uh, I know. But you haven't seen me back up the van, so. Lucy, this has been my whole life. I, I blood, sweat, and tears paid for this property. I saved up $30,000 in one year to make a down payment to build a house so that I could live on this land and have all these dogs and afford to do pro bono work. But this guy's exposed me as, you know, I'm not a serious pro, you know. I'm not serious about this. It's one glance at my Facebook page, you can see. I'm all about getting my hair and nails done and my new outfit. <laughs> Please. Angus! If you said, what was he going after? I don't know. Uh, but I don't know what he was going after, but that's my contingency plan. It goes that way. And if I had to guess, the squirrel's falling out of the tree, or who God knows. He doesn't differentiate, honestly. He thinks, I think he thinks lizards are mini squirrels. They do have the same actions, and they do go up the tree, and they do. Okay, he sees something. Oh, and when we see something, again, I'm not going to say leave it, leave it, leave it. He's not going to leave it. I don't even know what it is. He's so funny. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. This is someone, you know, again, if, if you look at it, no, no, I, I reached out to become some sort of, I, I reach out to people to help them, you know that. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. I could say, well, here, here's a link, buy this, buy that, if you want to be my friend or want any help from me, like all these other people do. No, I don't do that. I'm, I'm going to start, though. If you said what, people like that guy, people like that guy, you better be careful who you let in your inner concentric circle. And if you have to say to yourself, the warning signs and symptoms all day long, then that's your fault. I saw the warning signs and symptoms all day long. Chelsea knows what I'm talking about. And I just ignored it. Anybody that's very toxic and venomous like that, it seems to all, every toxic venomous post was directed at a woman. You know, I told this guy, you're, you're scary and you're scaring me. Uh, how am I scary? I, I'm waiting. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, you're getting scarier by the minute. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're waiting. This is after I tried to just unfriend the guy and quietly leave and just, no, no, these people aren't going to allow that. They're going to then, then say, yeah, yeah, you might want to adjust your meds. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Okay, first off, if someone was on meds, would you really want to say that to them? <laughs> And yeah, don't worry, JC. I've got plenty of doctor clients that can testify uh, I'm not on meds. I probably should be, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so i just going to... Let me grab some more treats. You know, no, and when you look at the root of it, you know, I try to help young dog trainers. If anybody said she never tried to help young dog... I, I do, I do. It's... You know, and if you said, what do you get? I don't know. To grief. All right, let me get more treats. Let me get his big dumbbells because he can't He can't do these little ones. Oh, look at it.
come on, Dolby. I think you've got to, if, if you're doing, if you're the stuck inside training for winter, I do think part of your dynamic does need to be. Hi, Karen. How's everything going, girl? Um, I'm gonna get a new manners minder. You know, I why, there's so much I want to do. And for anyone to say, that, I'll tell you, they'll be prying this remote out of my cold dead hand if you want to know, you know, what my plans for the rest of my life are. Chelsea can then say she died doing what she loved. <laughs> they couldn't get the remote out of her hand; they buried her with it. <laughs> so this dog has a shape retrieve transitioning into a trained retrieve. And if you said how? Because I can, I have a way to commute, uh, to cue the dog to pick it up. On a shape to retrieve, it, there's less of that. On the shape to retrieve, you're just kind of, so if it was a trained retrieve, I could do the same thing. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at. That's where I'm kind of in a limbo state about marrying these two things together. But there's my pager. He's combining it with his own exercises. That's not going to work, I tell you. Lazy boy retrieving, that's what he calls it. La I tried to get him over to the green thing. Yeah, if you said what's going to work out. <laughs> he said, how's that going to go with uh, for your retrieving drills that you've got planted? Not good. <laughs> not good. So he's basing my travel and my cadence of movement on this arm. You've got to do that. You've got to surgically structure your arms. I don't know what else to tell people. Everything, now I'm saying way ahead of time. I'll tell you where I'm headed. I cannot wait to get there. You know, that's what I'm saying, not get over there. I can't wait to get there. Hold me back. Hold me back. And I'm not pointing to the dog. There's my pager. <laughs> Hold me back. I can't get there fast enough to Chuck E. Cheese. And here's the prizes. Here's the redemption for the prizes. So, it's all reverse psychology. It's, <laughs> I, I'm sure I've tried every other way and just finally figured out <laughs> best to just use psychology. This dog didn't even down before at all. I never asked it to down. I slowly shaped it and the permanence of it is scary. If you said, well, I started at the very beginning making it go down, making it go down, making it go down, your confidence rate would be less at this point because there are several potential outcomes to the sequence. You have to say any sequence, I start with the dog. So I tell people tug is bad. I see dogs playing tug with each other all the time. If you said, is it a good outcome? Most of it, no, it's almost never a good outcome. Crash and shoe bottom, we're doing it yesterday. I don't even know what they were pulling on. So, oh, that Publix bag that Holly brought me the gift in. Oh, they got off the counter. Now they're pulling it all apart. It's ripping and tearing. And then Crash is getting all crazy. And I don't know, some happened. Then some big guy had to get off the elliptical and get the damn ripped up bag and put it in the trash. Oh, it was awful. Oh, his level of animation. All right, so now I can see... Let me get my treats better here. All right, so I'm going to do my pager. I'm going to look at it. He sees this arm traveling. And if you guys aren't doing that, if you said, well, I'm just going back to the pl The arm is giving away my intention. All right, so let me see if I can send him back to get this one. The first thing is just really honestly to look at it. Glasses do help because you can kind of look over the glasses. 
My character wears glasses now because it does help. permanent and it really there's no refusal if you don't ask ask a new task uh, this is what I said this is what I said ask no task risk no refusal so if you said well you're standing there saying get it get it get it get it get it oh, I wasn't I wasn't even looking at him you gotta a, a, you gotta be able to just look through them if you really, really want to get on that level with them where they're saying to themselves, what is this thing looking at? All right, let me see if I can sneak away while he's looking at that. Probably not. Let me see if I can walk over this way. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. That isn't gonna work. So that's all the default to. I think until you have that default Until you have the default recall, you really can't move forward. If you said, I'm working on the recall, I, and if you said, how fast are you seeing defaults? Honestly, within, if you're not seeing defaults within the first day or two, you're doing it wrong. I think we need to tell people that. If it's not occurring as a default, You've got to be doing it wrong. I'm seeing it occur as a default after two minutes. So I can go back now and do it as. Oops. Ah, hang on. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Okay. So I'm going to do the pager. And I made a fast move if you said why, because he was headed for the nap time with it. And if you said then what would happen? Hey, probably start doing on it. All right, guys, hang on, I'll be right. Oh God, poor Skyler. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right.